Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to take common drone moves we do all the time, and with a few simple and easy changes, make them much more cinematic and much more professional. Let's jump right in. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how you can take simple drone moves that we do all the time, really common drone moves, and with a few really easy tweaks, take them from beginner to professional and make them much more cinematic. I'll be first showing you the original common drone move, and then I'll be showing you how you can make it more unique and exciting by showing you how to set up the shot, and then by showing you the controller inputs you need to make to take your drone moves to another level. You will then be able to use them drone moves in your own projects. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna be editing the drone moves together into a sequence of sound effects, color grading, and music, just to show you what's possible. Now, the drone I'm using today is the DJI Mavic 3. Quite simply, the best drone you can buy right now for ultimate video quality. But if you wanna see any of the gear I'm using in this video, I've put a link in the description down below. Also worth noting that I'm using Stick Mode 2, which you can change in the settings on your DJI Fly app. Now, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at move number one. The classic push forward is an incredibly simple move and probably the first move you've ever done with a drone. It's extremely easy to do and delivers cinematic footage, but it could be made even better. Let's first look at the original move and then how to improve it. So the push forward usually involves flying up nice and high and then simply pushing the right stick up to start the drone moving forward. Incredibly important to not have jerky motion for this move, you want it to be steady and smooth. Looks great, but let's take it up a level and make it a little more professional. To do this, we want to add movement as we push forward, and I recommend descending. To do this, again, fly up high, and this time push forward by pushing the right stick up, but also start to descend at the same time by pulling the left stick down. I recommend normal mode for this as it's the perfect speed to get cinematic motion. You can see that adding another subtle movement makes this move look much more professional and using it will help level up your productions. Another absolute classic that most beginner drone pilots turn to is the top down. An epic perspective that can only easily be achieved with a drone, giving you a look at locations in an entirely different way. Before we look at how to spice this up a bit to make it even more cinematic, let's look at how the original move is done and it couldn't be simpler. Again, flying the drone up high, you want to gimbal straight down using the gimbal wheel and the controller, and this perspective looks great for videos and photos. But to make it even more cinematic, we again want to introduce another movement. To make this move much more professional, we're gonna rotate while looking straight down. To do this, gently push left or right on the left stick to start the rotation, and you want the rotation to be really subtle, so cine mode works best for this. Another incredibly easy move that looks super cinematic. The rise up is an incredibly powerful move that can be used in a range of scenarios, but it's also super simple to do. Another move that beginners always start with because it delivers beautiful results. Let's look at how it's done, and then at how we can improve it. To do a rise up move, simply start with the drone low down and then fly upwards. This can be done by pressing up on the left stick. This usually looks best if you rise up from behind a foreground object for a greater sense of perspective and to make your shot look more interesting. So how can we improve this already epic shot? We're gonna do a push forward rise up and again have foreground objects to add interest to the shot. Again, start with the drone down low and then push both sticks gently forward. Cine mode works best for this as you want the move to be safe, slow and smooth. In this shot, I done the move when flying over myself to reveal the beach and you can see just how epic this move looks. Quick top tip. If you want to take your drone moves to the next level, I recommend trying to get closer to subjects. But how can we do that while flying safely? Well, now with the Mavic 3 amazing second zoom camera, we can make it look like we're close to a subject, like a cliff face or bridge, but in reality, we're nowhere near it. This means we can now get those close, epic shots while remaining at safe distances. So why not try getting closer shots that give a great sense of motion using the zoom camera on the Mavic 3. The Orbit is a more advanced move that adds so much production value to your sequences, but with the Mavic 3, we can take it up a notch with slow motion. Let's first look at how to do an Orbit. First, you wanna line your subject up in the center of the frame, Turning on grid lines can help you frame your shots, so if you don't already have it turned on in settings, I highly recommend having it on. Then to do an orbit, either push left or right in the right stick, and then push the left stick in the opposite direction. This will make your drone do an orbit while you keep the subject in the center of the frame. This looks fantastic, but we can add more production value to this shot 
with the slow motion feature of the Mavic 3. To get the most out of this mode, it helps to have a subject or location with lots of movement that looks good when slowed down. Simply select the slow motion mode in the Mavic 3 and do the move again. Now when viewed back, you get this really epic slow motion orbit shot and this is definitely one of my new favorites, fly lower to the ground. This is a tip I give time and time again because it can instantly level up your drone footage. Just because your drone can fly high doesn't mean all your shots need to be from that perspective. Using the Mavic 3 to get shots that you would normally achieve with sliders and jibs close to the ground can give amazing results. Getting shots lower to the ground make them look super interesting to watch and highlight features you might miss from that higher perspective. A beginner move we've already discussed is the top down, but again there is another way to level up this move to be more professional. The top down slider slow motion, another move that makes use of the Mavic 3's excellent slow motion mode. To do this move I recommend finding a location that has lots of movement, such as a beach with waves, using grid lines to line up the top down shot so that everything is symmetrical and then make sure you're in the slow motion mode. Then fly either left or right by pushing the right stick in that direction and when you play back this clip in slow motion you get this epic cinematic shot that looks super unique. Another absolute classic move is the slider. This move replicates a traditional camera slider except uses the Mavic 3 in the air. To do this move, align your drone either to the right or left of your point of interest and then slowly fly the drone right or left using the right stick. Although this move looks super good, we can take it a step further and make it look even more professional by again introducing another subtle movement, as is the case with most of these move upgrades so far. To achieve this, align your drone to the right or left of your subject and start a slider move by pushing right or left on the right stick. But this time we want to add a subtle curving motion using the left stick and pushing it in the opposite direction. You don't want this to be in orbit though, so only move the left stick a small amount to achieve this epic and cinematic move. The drop down is another easy beginner move that gives professional results. So let's look at how to achieve it and then how we can make it more unique. This move works best for landscape shots, so start with your drone up high facing the direction of the location in your shot. Then it really is as simple as lowering the drone by pushing the left stick down and I find cine mode works best for this as the slow movement looks cinematic. So how can we improve this? By introducing a tilt upwards. To achieve this again start with your Mavic 3 up high and facing the direction of the location but with the gimbal facing straight down. Then again, start descending by pushing down on the left stick, but this time, as you descend, raise the gimbal gently towards the horizon using the gimbal wheel. Timing is important with this move. Pull it off and you will get this super cinematic move that is sure to impress. So that's how you take drone moves we do all the time and make them more unique and interesting, more cinematic and more professional. But just high professional. Well, let's edit these moves together with sound effects, color grading and music into a sequence and see the results. So what do you think? I think you'll agree that those small tweaks you can make to the common drone moves we do all the time, paired up with the exceptional video quality of this drone, the DJI Mavic 3, produces exceptional results. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you wanna learn more about drones in general, tips, tricks, and tutorials about how to get better videos and photos, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. And if you wanna stick around and watch some more of them videos now, then here's a few I personally recommend watching. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.